Yeah. But I have a lot of people ask me like identifying opportunity. And so when you're talking about these specific flips and you said you have kind of a partner down the valley, do they specifically just identify these opportunities for you? Or what are things that you look at when you're saying, Hey, this, this could be a, a decent opportunity on that flip. Um, to where, I mean, it's not unlike your your barbecue grill scan yeah. of like, hey, this has potential. Yeah, this is a $50 barbecue grill. But but yeah, <laughs> that's the hard part is saying, hey, you know, is the price right and nice and low? But at the same time, and that's kind of what we caught ourselves into on this last round. Experience gets experience here of like this was the oldest home that we had ever done in Sedona. And so like in 1970s home, you have a lot of different challenges yeah. than something that's even 10 or 15 or 20 years newer. Um so it, there's a lot of things that you just don't understand where it's, it's, yeah. Not, I mean, for yeah. us, we, we rely a lot on the guidance of my partner down in, in Phoenix. Cause yeah. that's yeah. what he does every day. Yeah. Um, and the first house that we bought, I bought sight unseen, you know, just maybe 10 pictures online yeah. and, uh, almost had a heart attack when I walked into the house. It didn't even have a floor. <laughs> oh, I mean, you opened the door and it was dirt? a two foot drop down to dirt. Oh yeah. And I'm like, what did I do? But he had, he had done properties like that before. Okay. And so that's why I put the trust in him and, yep. it, and it worked out. Um, and so there's never, there's never a perfect deal. And I think so many people just have analysis paralysis. They see what they see on Amen. HGTV, yeah. um, DIY network, and they think, oh, you know, I can do this, this, this. But there's there's definitely, it's definitely a game changer when you have that money and you take that risk because there there's risk, right? I mean, yeah, you wouldn't have a financial gain if there wasn't risk or else Absolutely. everyone would do it. Absolutely. And um, so I think even, you know, whether it's, doing a flip, buying an investment property, or or even buying a house. When the real dollars, your own dollars are involved, it's a different feeling. You know, you can watch an HGTV show and be like, oh my God, we got to replace the plumbing. And that's, you know, $10,000. And you're like, ah, $10,000 doesn't seem that bad. I mean, they're, they're investing 120 into it. Sure. But when that $10,000 is your own and you're (laughs) $120,000 of your own budget, it's a different feeling. And there's yes. a, I mean, even now there's a lot of nights where I'm up in the middle of the night and I'm like, what did we, what are we doing? You know, or is this going to be okay? And so far everything's worked out. Yeah. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm, I'm, I'm in, it's still in a low enough financial position where I have to take those risks and I'm willing to, um, you know, I, you and I are probably in this very similar position. We don't have millions of dollars in the bank where we can just buy cash and, if it doesn't work out, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. You know, when you're starting out and you're building your, your kind of your portfolio and you're trying to, you know, build wealth, like you have to take risk at the beginning. And and we're still kind of in that stage um, until we can kind of build, you know, either financials uh, where we're comfortable in, in going in on cash on a property or, you know, the, the risk of one property isn't detrimental if it were to go completely belly up. Yeah. Yeah. No. And I think that that's where, I don't know, as you're talking through that, I don't think a lot of things, I don't know if they really will change though. Right. You're just taking risks at different levels. And then just like you're talking, I always saw like life is different equations early on in, uh, in this career of like, cause I, I had this, this front row seat to a, the way that a lot of people make it through life yeah. financially. And, and again, like we talked about those different things of someone just clocks in, clocks out, or someone gets highly educated and clocks in, clocks out. Right. And knowing, okay, we, we can all understand very clearly like the dollar for dollar or the hour for hour, hour for dollar. Let's see that the hour for dollar time of like a, um, a, you know, doctor versus a car mechanic no offense to car mechanics is just different. We right. value that societally different or police officer yeah, or a police officer. <laughs> yeah. Right. And so having to understand that value and that assignment and then knowing that, uh, as you're talking about then creating different streams and avenues of income that it's, and, and you walk into a property that just has dirt to someone else. That's 
a no factor. It's not a problem. They understand that calculated risk. Right. So it's, it's not even a blip on their radar. They're like, Oh no floor, no problem. Right. Where yeah. you're like, okay, I got to call someone. I got to do this. Like, what's it going to cost? What's this going to look like? And they're like, no. And that's, that's kind of where I, and I was just on the line with a, a client on this type of same factor of like, um, and I don't say this like with, with bravado or anything to say, like there was a, um, a, an investment property I was looking to purchase and was very friendly with the owner and was working things out. Every other transaction I've ever done has been with a real estate agent. This one was a good buddy of mine. So I was like, no, we can work this out. And, uh, and we did, and I hadn't even been in the property until after closing. Yeah. Right. Because I looked at the home inspection. I knew the square footage. I knew what it could rent for. I knew what my mortgage payment was I'm like, nothing else matters. Just like you're saying, if, if it's like, Oh no, you know, if you would have walked in, you would have saw that it really needs a new paint job. I knew the numbers. I was willing to right. risk.